Six God himself, Drake, shut down the internet not too long ago. He released two singles from his highly anticipated album. Now, the one that concerns us the most here in Nigeria is the song One Dance featuring Kyla and a certain guy called This Kid. <laughs> Have you heard the song? Definitely, definitely, most definitely. I heard the song as soon as it drops. What do you think about it in the first place? I think it's one of those Drake songs that's going to climb up to the charts and dominate the, the charts. It's going to dominate the clubs. You know, I think he just needs to shoot a music video and boom. It's reminiscent of that of that uh, Rihanna's workflow, which was written by, by Party Next Door. So yeah. probably collaborated with Party Next Door on this. We also know it's a sample from, it's a it's a remake, almost like a remake or a remix of Kyla's original sure, song sure, released yeah. a couple of years ago in the UK. I like the song. Okay. Uh, if Whiskey wasn't on that track, would you care for it, honestly? Would I care for it? Maybe not. Maybe not. Right? Yeah. But I heard Whiskey's flow on it and I liked it. I mean, he's a Nigerian. I identify with him. It is very big. This is the biggest thing that's happened to Nigerian music in, you know, this year. It has happened to Nigerian music. You know, a lot of people are trying to find out who Whiskey is. So I prefer, of course, Whiskey being on the song than him not being there. Okay. You heard Whiskey, but a lot of people out there on Twitter, especially on Twitter, say they couldn't hear Whiskey on that track. Do you think that Whiskey's part was overhyped in the, tr in the song or was it a genuine feature? Let's break it down. Drake said, one dance featuring Whiskey and Kyla. Yes. It's very simple. All right, so Whiskey's vocals were uh, were put under a, uh, what do you call it? Kind um, of radio effect. Radio effect, there's a, there's a phone effect, radio yeah. phone effects, right? Just because there's a phone effect on his verse doesn't mean he's not on the song, mm -hmm. right? I mean, Jay-Z had only two bars. Two bars yeah, but that's Jay -Z. On, on, Jay -Z. on 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 the other song Drake Drake put him on. Do you understand what I'm saying? So because there's a phone effect on Whiskey's verse. Sorry, that 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 hook comes with twice, right? On the song. Yeah, the it's bridge. like a bridge. Bridge. It's a bridge. It's like a bridge that comes twice after Drake goes. Man, it can't get bigger than that. Like, I don't know why people are looking at the negatives and saying, oh, how can Drake put Whiskey on? What else were you expecting to give him a verse? Yeah, why, can't, why can't Whiskey get a verse So if he Drake? gets a verse, it's fine. If he doesn't get a verse, it's fine. Didn't he get a verse on... I mean, he featured on R. Kelly's record now. Yeah, he right? did, he did. Why is everyone not talking about that record? Why? Oh. why is, so why are we looking at the negatives when we should be looking at the, pos the positives and the possibilities of other Nigerian artists also blowing up? We should be celebrating this event. We should be celebrating this feature because it is a milestone in the Nigerian music industry. Take it or leave it. This is the biggest... This is the first time the biggest hip hop artist in the world, Drake, mm -hmm. right, features a whiskey and put him on the record. Not only put him on, see, Drake would have said one dance and had whiskey that, you know, background vocals and just put him in the credits and somewhere. Know, yeah. And we would never know, or we would know, but we, we, we can't tell. celebrate it. Yeah. But he put it on the artwork, he, he Instagrammed it. He wrote out his name. You go to Apple Music, it's there. Drake featuring Whiskey and Kyla. Do you understand? He even put preference over the Kyla chick. He put it there. Whiskey, what else do we want? Why are we looking at the negatives instead of celebrating the positives and trying to see how we can grow from there? Okay. Um, I've heard what you said, but some, some people say, okay, Weezy, we heard Weezy, but his part wasn't really that great in the song. Like, hey. He took a freaking bridge. How, you, how can he be how better than his, that? How you rate his input on, on that track? Fantastic, because he did it well. Is it work? No. Are you saying this because you're in Nigeria? No, 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 no. no. If it was any other person, if it was, if it was a Patoranki, okay, forget Nigerian artist. If it was a weekend or any other person that did that part, he added to the song. If you take that part out of the song, the song is less interesting. Yes or no? Mm, yeah, sure. Do you understand? So what's the big deal? Please let us understand. This song is going to break boundaries for the Nigerian music industry. All right? How? Up to because just from that time the song was released to now, certain big pop culture magazines have even called me to talk about whiskey and to talk about Nigerian music. Yeah. I'm not going to mention magazines, you see when it comes out. Mm -hmm. But do you understand what I'm saying? That is how interested the world is about Nigerian music now. Just because of what? Because of a whiskey, a, a, a Drake whiskey collaboration. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah. But no, we... no. Like, like, see, Drake jumps on whiskey's record. It's huge. It's big, yeah, right? Yeah. was huge. He doesn't have. I mean, he he doesn't have the right to do anything. I mean, he, if he doesn't want to do anything with whiskey anymore, he can move on. But puts the guy on his own record. This is not a remix. This is not a freestyle. This is an original, official single that will come out on Drake's album. If that album wins a Grammy. Whiskey is a Grammy winner. If that album wins a BT award, 
Whiskey Disability Award winner. Do you understand? The possibilities are endless. Publishing or royalties. Yes. If Whiskey signed royalties and got his contracts right with this song, man, all these rumors about his lucky crave and everything will be sorted for life. <laughs> because one month of royalties from that song, do you know how many people have bought that song since the time it was released? Do you know how many people have streamed it? Yeah. It's big, right? It's topping all the charts. Mm -hmm. It's number one on the Emerging 140. 140 songs on right now on Billboard. That's a record. No Nigerian artist has done that. Whiskey has already done it. If he makes Billboard, Whiskey might possibly become the first Nigerian artist to make Billboard, not World Chart, Hot 100. First Nigerian born artist. Yes, sir. This is not World Chart. Reminis has made World Chart. Um, uh, Two Face has made World Chart. This is an artist being on Hot 100. It is an exclusive list. Not everybody makes it. And trust me, that song is going to make it to top 10. Okay, the way that song is going. So, I've heard, I've heard, again. I've heard what you said, but let's not forget that we were, in the, we, were, we were in this same scenario years ago when the hottest rapper back then, called Kanye West, featured a certain Nigerian artist yeah. on a track. And ended up hearing what he did on the album. I was say, okay, the, the debates about it, there was a controversy. And from there on, nothing. So, that's a different scenario. Right now, Drake puts whiskey on his single, official single, and it's going to be what featured on his fourth, am I right? Fourth album, fourth, yeah. no, fifth studio fifth album. Fifth studio album. Fifth studio album, right? Views from the six or views. That's so different from when Kanye West worked with the bunch. And the band still made it to the crew summer. Fine, people will say, oh, he just did an ad lib. Oh, if that album won a Grammy, the band is a Grammy award winner. Yeah. If He's getting royalties, he's getting some good royalties because that song and that album made money for what? For good music. I don't see anything bad in limitations, right? Limitations uh, as a Nigerian artist. If I have the opportunity to do only an album on an album, I'll do it. Ask any Nigerian artist, right? If they have the opportunity to do an ad lib on a Kanye West produced album, if they'll do it or not. We've seen back then what, how artists used to lie. You remember yeah. that they featured these artists. Remember when Pisco said they had they had Drake on the record, or or, or, or freestyle, or, or, or freestyle said they had T Pain on the record. Do you understand? Do you know how 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 much effort and work it took for Two Face to get R Kelly on his record to to jump on the chorus? What are we talking about? So don't see these things as limitations. See them as the industry growing. I've always said this thing before. The industry is growing. We should be appreciative of that, and we should actually support all the artists no matter how the condition i mean no matter what the condition looks like oh they only put him on the bridge oh he only did an ugly we will grow from there you have to start from somewhere that's the problem with us we always want to fly you have to crawl then walk then run then fly okay uh which kid is on, is on drake's record now we all know that so what where does he stand right now his career what's what's the next thing for him because it seems as if you know the sky is the limit. But what are his options right now? He puts him in a perfect place, right? He puts him in a place where he he's getting calls. Shout out to Mola G of Not Just Okay, right? He said, he tweeted that people have been calling him from Universal Music, from record labels, right? They've known about the video. For Sony to sign the video, it is very possible that a Universal or a Def Jam or an Interscope can sign Whiskey. If Sony yeah. Music can sign the video. Yeah. Talent wise, we know the video is not playing with Whiskey. Mm -hmm. Whiskey has songs for days. This boy can record in seconds. Do you understand? Yeah. So it puts him in a very, very, very you know, beautiful position where he can sign a deal and get his contract right, sign a deal. It's 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 he it just opened the doors, right? He's sitting down, Drake puts him on the record, everybody's knocking on his door. Everybody wants to work with Whiskey and sign with Whiskey. Puts him in a brilliant position. Okay. Now that Whiskey is out there internationally. Do you think it's time for him to clean up his act? We all know this problem with songwriting and coming up with lukewarm songs. Do you think that, that hey, he's not international? He has to play according to his international standards now. This boils down to his team. What kind of team is he working with? What are the who are the ARs he's working with? Who's his management is working with? You understand? Who are the creative team he's working with? We need to know these people. He needs to work with the right people so that they can bring the best out of him, right? So he's always been able to drop songs that you know become club bangers, but the writing has been horrible of late. The best song Whiskey wrote, I mean the best written song so far since he dropped his album is Joy. Yes yeah, or no? Yeah. And probably probably Joy yeah, Ever because you know it's it has that whole vibe, emotional cool. vibe and all that. You understand? So if he needs to hire songwriters, now he's in a very brilliant position where he can hire songwriters and work. Since he has Starboy, he has producers, hire songwriters, hire a creative team that can take your music 
from the next to from from where you are to the next level. Okay. Do you think he needs to sign to a label in Nigeria right now? Whiskey? No label can can handle whiskey now. There is no label in Nigeria that should work with whiskey now. See. I've always said it, the future of Nigerian music, because we don't have an industry, because we don't have an infrastructure, every artist should go indie. Mm -hmm. If Whiskey was signed to a label, you probably won't have all the chances. Because see, you're signed to a label, you're waiting for the label to pay for your flight. Right. Probably you would have missed Justin Bieber or those Chris Brown. Because the guy flies, your label says, no, you can't fly at this time. We know how Funds it, are not available right now. Yeah. Funds, how, how much? How, the biggest label, Maven, how much? If we are not talking about the billions of naira, yeah. then you know. So everything is structured, and they are trying. Do you understand? They are mm -hmm. doing well. Labels are even doing well. But you need to understand that an artist right now should actually just take the indie route, which has helped whiskey. So signing to any Nigerian co company is not even what is what is time right now. He should actually focus on trying to get an international deal or moving in in Nigeria. Yeah. With all that whiskey has achieved in his career, do you think whiskey is a legend? Ah, not yet. He's a legend yeah, in the making. Yeah, yes. He's a legend Drake. in the making, not yet. Skepta. You still need to give him. Okay. See, because you have because you have features, international features, can't make you a legend. But nobody has done what he has done for Nigerian music so far. Which doesn't still make him a legend. With time, we can see he can become a legend. He needs to drop that one album that will shake the industry. Superstar was a good album. Um, Ayo was was, was 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 lukewarm. Yeah. Okay, but he needs to drop that record. Okay. For we to call for, for everybody to call him a legend. Let let him drop that face to face album. Let him drop that grass to grace album. Let, let him drop, drop that the entertainment album. Let him drop that motion to move it album. Let him drop that album that will shake the whole of Africa. Then we can call him a legend. Okay. Purely, whiskey story is very motivational. Anybody looking at whiskey would definitely be inspired. You yeah. know, to, to achieve what he has achieved. But what do you think an upcoming upcoming artist can do? To be like whiskey, to, to get to that international market, to get to the top of the top. Be very open-minded, right? Be very creative and work hard. See, it's because whiskey has worked really hard, right? His talent has pushed him. He was guided by Banky, EME, left the label, but he still worked hard. With releasing music, being very open-minded to you know what kind of music, playing around with genres. The boy is a multi-talented boy. You understand? And stick to your own lane. Whiskey doesn't look like the kind of artist that has ever tried to copy trends. Oh, okay, because one artist is hot or doing this, let me do it. I mean, of course, there's the jumping of trends on, oh, is this sound that's really, let me jump on it. But he's, he has his own fresh ideas, and that's what Nigerian artists need to do. Don't copy trends, because, you know, one person is working with DJ Kublon, you need to go and work with DJ Kublon. Follow your path, understand the kind of music you want to do, understand the kind of brand you want to you, you want to create to appeal to the kind of audience you want. Facts on it.